All right, Andy Rue. I heard this was the most reacted to video on YouTube. Really? This is Nightwish. Now, you've never heard of Nightwish never. before? Bro. Let's freaking go. <laughs> uh. This intro is crazy. Andy, are you ready? Let's go. (laughs) What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-Year-Old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And I have a very special guest today, my man, Andy Rue. What up? Now, um, he's a reoccurring guest. He's been here with some of my Ren reactions, uh, NF, Harry Mack. But he has never heard of Nightwish. Mm-hmm. And um, we did this Nightwish reaction, and we just got introduced to Nightwish. Mm-hmm. So I just figured I'd bring you up. Yeah, and, I'm and kind of excited because I'm a I'm a big I, I've never gotten I don't know what kind of metal they're gonna be, but one of one of my favorite you know kinds of metal is is deathcore, and that's like super <laughs> aggressive, just straight like guttural vocals and stuff like that. But one of the things I really like, because you you know you didn't tell me too much about them, but one of the things you said it was like symphonic metal, and even from this intro, I can tell that one of my favorite things is when they include like or- orchestral elements and stuff like that okay. inside it. Um, there's a couple bands that I listen to where they have you know I, I like Chelsea Grin. Chelsea Grin has a song called Skin Deep, where there's a ton of just like it's just crazy, like this crazy stuff. So I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. Well, we'll get into it, man. This is gonna be tight. Um, I believe. Most of the group is from Finland, but the lead singer is a female. Okay. Her name is Floor Jansen. I believe okay. she's from the Netherlands or something like that. Where okay. I get so much stuff wrong on this channel. I'd be taking L's every day, but yeah. it's all good. We're about to get into this. Um, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and comment on all the content. But if you're really rocking with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to this 100K. Can't do it without you. Let's get it. 40. 40 year old. What? What? Boys are back in town. 40. All right, let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Don't forget, I just dropped a new music video called Planned It. Support the original content as much as you support these reactions, oh, yeah. and we love you long time. I got original music, music videos, freestyles off, off the top of the head, all on the channel. Andy Rue even has some, I do. Has I some do. stuff out, so um, oh, yeah. I'll, pin, I'll put him in the description and pin oh, yeah. his first comment. A little bit of background. I'm an engineer. I'm a producer. Classically trained. A whole yep. bunch of stuff. I appreciate nothing but musicality yeah. and elements of just like showing crazy technique and skill and that's one of the things i love about deathcore and like just death metal and everything is like just the patterns they do and i'm actually i'm probably gonna be able to point some out to you that you didn't notice it is crazy like okay. death metal is crazy okay. how like you wouldn't think because people just listen to it and chalk up you know oh death metal's just screaming you can't understand what they're saying or they're just like you know it's just loud noise nah it yeah. is probably some of the most like technically difficult things to play like type of music to play Mm. especially live and stuff and that's something that i've loved so much i found my love for death metal when i was in jazz band which is hilarious but um that that's literally how i found my (laughs) love for death metal because once i started really getting into those like rhythms and just different cadences and pockets that you can fit it's kind of like pockets and rapping yeah but in guitars and stuff like that like it's just this crazy like I love it anyway. Tight. That's my background. <laughs> I love it. So Hell yeah. I don't think this goes as far as the death part, but yeah. it's definitely metal. No, yeah, no, so for sure. So we're going to get to This is going to be tight, man. So um, let's do this, man. I love bringing. So whenever I find something that I've never heard of, and I've never heard of Nightwish until like literally three weeks ago, okay? Mm-hmm. And I just like bringing my friends in front of the new stuff that I find and see what they, I get to rewatch it through their eyes. So here we are, you guys. This is Nightwish, Ghost Love Score. Let's freaking get it. Andy Rue, here we go. Want me to bring it from the very beginning, or are we good where we're at? Uh, beginning. It's kind Screw of, it. okay, yeah, yeah. It'll have that build up, and yeah. we can just really. Ten minutes. I'm not gonna...
reminds me a lot of Evanescence for sure. Um, just kind of like those angelic vocals with the heavy stuff in the background. I'm really rocking with this a okay. lot. Um, I think it does have a lot of like these death metal elements into it, at least music like with the you know guitars and everything like that. But definitely in her vocals, it's a lot more uh, de- like I, kind of like I said, like the Evanescence kind of like more so angelic crazy kind of vibe. You, you said that because I totally forgot about Ev- Evanescence. Yeah. I've heard of her and I've mm-hmm. seen that. Yep. That's that totally make that I totally get it. Yeah. Like yeah. right when you said that. That's funny. That's tight. <laughs> say for sure is uh, another one that um another kind of vibe it's given me is uh the trans-siberian orchestra i don't know if you've heard of them trans-siberian yeah, orchestra Trans-Siberian i've heard orchestra. but i'm not like super familiar they do a lot of christmas music i haven't dive, you know dove too deep into it but that's definitely the sound that it is and they kind of do the same thing where it's very like orchestral kind of metal and stuff a lot of it's just instrumental um but that's kind of one of the vibes that it gives me but yeah you could definitely tell there's a lot of i don't know who's writing for them or who you know if all the band members get together and compose this but you could tell they definitely have a huge classical like um element you know a huge classical background for sure i mean you kind of have to with this type of you know with this vibe that they're going for um and i just i can guess that from just like the chord progressions that they're using that they're they're not just you know sticking to the normal circle of fifths just kind of like um and my fellow music musicians and people who understand music theory will know what i mean by that um but it's just called the circle of fifths it's it's kind of very um it's a good way to Right, your chord progressions, but okay. they kind of like stretch that and go go to the next uh, level. Take take you know their chord progressions to the next level, and and just kind of what I'm hearing is really dope. I like it. Tight, yeah. Now, um, for me, like I'm a very novice when it comes to like I'm not classically trained, so I just hear stuff and I'm like, yo, this just sounds really amazing mm-hmm. to me. And for me, this is kind of new because again, I've heard of Ev- Ev- Evanescence, yeah, but it's like I probably saw a, a video on MTV back in the day, or right, something. right? Like, it's right. not like. And so now that I'm kind of reopening my mind to other genres, I was just like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. it's just, it's wild. And then her lyrics are kind of, her kind of deep. And it's like, in a way, it's almost like mysterious mm-hmm. in, in a certain way too. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I just, I thought it was crazy. It sounds like those chords, he's following some of the stuff she was just singing. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I would, we would have to run it back for me to kind of pay attention to that. But yeah, I bet, yeah. yeah. Is this their headline? I think it's a festival. Oh, okay, because I'm like... I'm kind of amazed that I haven't heard of them because, like, if they're 
doing shows like that they've got unless it's just like a finland thing but like that's huge i was gonna say huge. that's why i was like yo i want to just see what you think because i was like i never heard of them and they're just popping yeah so i heard there's like eighty thousand people at this one yeah it looks like it I know you're really into shows, and you go to shows, oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. This would be amazing to see live. Yeah, this sounds like a movie soundtrack, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is my only second time ever seeing this, too, so I'm, like, retaking this it all. This is crazy, yeah. Like some Fantasia like <laughs> stuff, like Trans Siberian Orchestra stuff. the pinch harmonic when you know uh, you kind of hear the guitar kind of squeaking like dun, 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 like oh, that. Okay. it's called a pinch harmonic it's okay. kind of crazy how they did that that's uh, right there was, yeah, i like that, that was- about metal and part of something that adds to the technicality um to all subgenres of metal um is is kind of the time signature switching right and all the time signature is just um kind of we've talked about the counting before one yeah. two three four it's called four four um time signature but they were just in they, which they just switched to here that one two three dun, 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 dun. they kind of switched to that but before they were in six eight and that's one two three four five six when well, you remember that part of this yeah, song yeah and then it went to dun, 
dun, two, three, four, one, two, three. So it's really cool. I love metal for that exact reason. That's part of what makes the technicality so much. And it is uh, just the fact that they could just switch like time signatures like that yeah. and make it sound so natural and smooth that you almost don't even notice it. Yeah, I didn't really notice those yeah. transitions yeah. until you brought it up just now. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And Actually, like, I kind of want to go back a few seconds before they switch to it. I would just go like 30 seconds, and I think that might be it, just uh, to see how they transition into it and see if you notice it because it's kind of crazy. Uh, I love how she goes in and out of pocket. Like she has this orchestra or not yeah. orchestra, opera yeah. style voice where she's yeah. like, oh, 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 yep. Yep. oh, oh. I'm like, dude, it's what's so up? cool. I and love then it. And she's like going in these different pockets too. It's, it's really, really actually kind of wild. That's crazy that she hit that belting. That's insane. <sighs> That's insane. I love it, man. I just love metal. I love rock. I just love it so much. It's just funny because you would never think that these dudes are just this talented based off of like just the stigma of how they look, but it literally is so much talent. Just like it's like it's just like these crazy riffs and just pockets that they fill with this and the drummer's just going crazy. And I love it, man. That was dope. That was really dope wild um you know what's wild to me so seeing that crowd <clears throat> it just reminds me of what we just went through in 2020 <laughs> and they tried to end that yeah they tried to say hey there will never be concerts again yeah. you can't and i'm just seeing how the people in the crowd are just like having the most amazing time yeah this is an amazing show and i'm like bro thank god it's 2023 right yeah now. i'm gonna go to some more concerts bro. yeah you should go to a metal show I, I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, they got play. You don't have to mosh pit. Bro. You can if you want, but I would not recommend it. I I don't have a good. No, time I can't mosh do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not breaking my back over a mosh pit, bro. I'm too old for that. Sh but I will go enjoy a show. You know what? I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Yeah. Rammstein. Yeah, Rammstein. Bro, dude, 
Mm-hmm. We did a reaction. Have you ever seen Angle? It's called. It's spelled E. I don't know if I have. I have seen Ramenstein though. I have seen Ramenstein. Yeah, but if you haven't seen that live, mm-hmm. like, bro, we might have to might react have to. to it. It's the craziest. Sh- Anyways, are they shooting fire in it? Like shooting fire across the stage and stuff? Because I've seen those videos. I've seen yeah. like clips of that from Ramenstein. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's ill. I'm not going to tell you because we might <laughs> have to bring you for one of those reactions. I have to. But anyways, th- yeah, you guys. First time reaction. Andy Ruse never heard a night wish, and he's introduced. I think you like him. I loved it. Yeah, I love it. That was tight. That was really tight. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you guys. Tap in in the, if you're in here with the chat, tap in in the comments. Um, Did you rock with this? Do you want me to bring Andy Rue back? What's going down with you guys? And the Nightwish Army is what I believe you guys are called. Mm. I always forget how they say it. It's like Floor Jansen, our Lady of Valkyrie or something like that. That sounds very, very, uh prophetic yeah (laughs) (laughs) hey man we're not worthy baby let's get it i guess so (laughs) uh i'm just a dumb american baby you know what i'm saying let's get it man (laughs) uh no this was tight dude uh that's great night wish man i like introducing when i get some hot hotness on the channel i will bring other guests and and introduce them to Mm -hmm. it uh first time so we can all see it together again. So, hey, you guys, like, share, and comment on all the content. If you're really rocking with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. You know what it is. 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. F-U-Q-Boy.